Hello everyone, welcome to NoFootman, the show I like to talk about news, reviews, reactions and rants, and today we're checking out Destiny 2 Forsaken, Crown of the Sorrow Raid. Now, I have a little bit of history with this game, uh, we've, I've done a couple funny montage videos, but I stopped playing it immediately after I knew exactly where the bloody game was going, which was Grindfest. I'm a grindy man, I love grindy games, that's a quote I should not put on a shirt. I've racked up nearly, I think, nearly 2,000 hours on Diablo 3. I love me a good grind. However, Destiny 2 is just a dick. A big swinging dick. And I was so happy when its own community decided to lambast and destroy it. And I hope they're turning things around because the last video I did, I think, was a raid video when they released their first raid. And I said at the start of the video, if I get a blue cape for this, I'm never playing this game again. And I stuck to my word. Uh, we spent two hours doing the raid. Because it took us a couple tries because the boss was the cheese machine. Yeah, we did the raid. I got a blue cape. And I swiftly uninstalled the game and have not played it since. And I will not be playing it since. Even if it gets really good. But I wanted to cover this trailer just to tell you that story. <laughs> uh, let's have a gander then. I, I am aware that they've released some things that have been alright. That's a good sign, eh? Hey up. Gears of War want their enemies back. Right. It's amazing how they oversell this. I don't know how much. Let me pause this. Every video now is just full of cadicarous. I don't know how he tags his videos, but they're fucking mental. He always gets like nine slots of my fucking recommended. It's unbelievable. But I could tell you right now that that is nothing what Destiny 2 was actually like. I didn't enjoy Destiny. This is obviously my opinion, by the way. Don't don't murder me alive. But shit, the boys are on. But in my opinion, the combat was not fun or exciting at all. The open world aspect was very to completely break the sentence here. Uh, it was real stranglehold, like it was, it was so choking and unbelievably upsetting to be around. Like it was so not open world, but it also claimed to be open world. Like you would walk from one area from where you spawned in to another area to speak to a vendor, and on the way there, you would just get randomly attacked by just random spawn points of monsters. It just didn't make any bloody sense. It's like meant to be a safe house and it's under attack, but it's not an event. That would have been really fun and it would have made more sense if it was an event, like the area's under attack, help defend it, come together with players and help support the area, but no, no, they just took a couple fucking spawn points and it's a permanent conflict and it just felt so shallow and empty and the combat was just bloody boring. Your three little moves basically didn't add much. I enjoyed the few hours that I played, but I realised very quickly that the game was not going to let you have fun. It's kind of like how uh, Anthem is, but not as bad, because Anthem is apparently just a trap. It's literally a trap. People hate Love Island, but I would honestly take Love Island over Anthem. There's a lot, doesn't it? I didn't even take the 8 hours for free thing they did. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to even touch it, in case, just in case the, my little addiction receptors got tingled. I didn't want to risk it because it's just not worth it. I've gone way off topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe in the well page or just go in the description. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy your blue cake.